I find myself quoting Psalm 103, especially the first two verses. I quote them often. There's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, I love the psalm. But one primary reason that I quote it a lot is because my pastor, who's now with the Lord, my beloved pastor, uh, Danny Gray, he quoted Psalm 103 a lot. And the Bible says in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Verse 8, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. Verse 11, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. In this passage, the psalmist is talking to himself. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. He's telling himself, listen here, soul, we're going to bless the Lord. You know, perhaps you need to have a little conversation with yourself and remind yourself that you're going to bless the Lord. I do that often. I remind myself that I am going to bless the Lord. You see, I've got two giant purposes in my life. Number one, to bless the Lord. And number two, to tell others about the Lord. Life boils down to those two things for the Christian. So I've got some questions for you. Question one, is God holy? Well, yes. Is the Bible true? Yes. Is God aware of everything in our lives? Yes. So should I be praising God on days that are up? Yes. Should I be praising God on days that are down? Well, yes. At all times, we ought to be praising God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Well, why should I be blessing the Lord? The Lord gave us many reasons right here in this passage. Verse 3, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. You can bless the Lord, Christian, just because you're cleansed of your sin. Doesn't that sound great? And then because of the measure of health God has given us, uh, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, whatever measure of health you have today, you ought to be praising God for it. And then it says, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. You know, the safety that we enjoy today, it's a blessing from God. So, Brother Fox, I thought our military was keeping us safe. God uses the military. God uses the police and the first responders. But ultimately, it is God who is keeping us safe, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. See, there's many reasons that we ought to be blessing the Lord. So how should I bless the Lord? Well, with my mouth. People ought to hear me saying, praise the Lord. They ought to hear me saying, uh, hallelujah, glory to God. Those are good Bible words. And with my mouth, people should be hearing me bless the Lord. And then with my choices, I can bless the Lord. By making choices that will please the Lord, I'm actually blessing the Lord. I have a volition, body, soul, and spirit, the Bible talks about and teaches that we are those three parts. Well, that volitional nature is part of us. And one way I can praise the Lord and bless the Lord is by making proper choices. And then my spirit, my spirit ought to be blessing the Lord. Uh, why should Christians be downcast and discouraged at every turn? We shouldn't. No, no, we are on the winning side. So with my spirit, I ought to be blessing the Lord. With my body, I ought to be blessing the Lord. With my interest, you know, what I'm interested in should be things that would please the Lord. And when I'm interested in the right things, 
<laughs> That's one, one more way that I can bless the Lord with this physical frame that I have, this body. I ought to be trying to bless the Lord. And um, then with whatever amount of energy that I have, whatever energy you have, it ought to be spent blessing the Lord. Bless the Lord. Think about his name, the Lord. There's a lot of names in the Bible for the Lord. Um, you know, we've got God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Bible teaches, teaches the doctrine of the Trinity. But think about all the names of the uh, Lord and all the names of God in the Bible. You know, people have different high titles for me. Dad, Husband, Preacher. I've got these different titles. Well, there's a lot of different titles for the Lord and a lot of different names. And we ought to be blessing the Lord. And then um, when should you bless the Lord? Well, early in your life, you should start praising the Lord. Yeah, little children with all their effervescence and all their laughter. Part of their time as children should be to just praise the Lord. And to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Their family members ought to hear them blessing the Lord. Their schoolmates ought to hear them blessing the Lord. Little girls, little boys, go ahead and praise the Lord. And then teenagers, rather than grumbling and complaining, why don't you just startle everybody around you and just have a good attitude? <laughs> and part of having a good attitude is having a right attitude about God and blessing the Lord. And then this uh, wonderful group called Millennials. I love the Millennials. And it's wonderful to hear Millennials rejoicing in the Lord. And then Mamas. Oh, as you clean house and as you cook and as you take care of the children, and as you go about your daily routines, Mama, why don't you Sing to the Lord and let your family hear you praising God. And Daddy, oh, why don't you lead the way? As you go to work, as you come home from work, as you drive the family around in the car, rather than screaming about all the traffic and all the bad things in life, why don't you lead your family in worshiping God <laughs> and let your family hear you being a man of praise to God. And you senior saints. Hallelujah for the senior saints. Yes. As you get older, you can't do as much physically as you used to. But one thing you can do and even do better is praise the Lord. you got so much to praise the Lord for. <laughs> With all your wisdom and all your life experience, make sure you take time to Praise the Lord every single day. In fact, the Bible teaches that let everything that hath breath <laughs> praise the Lord. Isn't this a wonderful psalm? Let me ask you, have you been blessing the Lord today? Have others heard you bless the Lord? Now, wait a minute. He may not be your Lord. You may not be saved. If you're not a Christian, you ought to come to Jesus today and say, oh, Lord Jesus, I want you to be my Lord. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe you was buried. And I believe you rose from the dead. And Lord, I want you to forgive me of my sin and cleanse me and make me fit for heaven. Oh, God, would you save me? And now after you receive Christ, go ahead and start praising him. Thank him for saving you. And all of us who've been saved a short time or a long time, I've been saved 50 years. Oh, I still need to be blessing the Lord every single day. I need to be heard blessing the Lord. I want to say thank you for following along with these Bible studies. I hope they're a blessing to you. Consider subscribing if you wish. Maybe put a like and maybe even share these Bible studies with others. But no matter what you do, let's be found blessing the Lord today. And the way I like to conclude these little Bible studies, I like to say this right at the very end. May God bless you.